Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about um, some of my bins that I have here. And this first one is a bin that I just started on March 20th. Uh, and you can see there is uh, dried up leaves in here. There is chunks of compost um, that's heated up and uh, cooled back down. And so this is what it looks like when I first start a bin. It's chunky and the, the worms haven't got a chance to work through it yet. And I'll dig through here and I'll let you see uh, what the worms look, look like. And these are called Asinia fatida or red wiggler worms. And even though they are small, they have a huge appetite. They can eat sometimes more than half their body weight uh, per day. So in this bin, I have a pound of worms, which is maybe around 800 to 1,000 worms, and they can eat about uh, half a pound per day. So you can see they can really work through the material fast. They really like um, organic materials that are decaying, um, things that are rotting. They like flowers, vegetables, uh, they'll eat uh, leaves and broken down leaves and different types of materials. Uh, so this is a bin, like I said, that I just started. Um, and so now I'm going to show you um, the next bin over here. Uh, so uh, this next bin, this is one that I started on February 8th. So the worms have been working it for about um, close to probably uh, four, 45 days or so. Um, and so this one you can see, if you go back over here, you can see right, right here over at this uh, first bin, the surface, it looks a lot different than over here. The worms have worked everything. They've eaten everything except the woody material in here. You can see the wood chips. Anything that's woody takes a long time to break down. And the worms uh, don't eat that or, or digest that uh, very well. So that stuff... Uh, remains but and it's a lot smoother you can see as I'm digging down there is this it looks like almost coffee grounds and that is that's the worm castings that's the vermicompost that the worms make which is organic fertilizer and it it is some of the best stuff that you can give plants um, and so I'm gonna look through here for a minute and see if I can find some cocoons and there's one so I don't know if you can see that or not but that that is a right here that yellow looks like a tiny yellow ball that is the worm cocoon um, that the worms produce and they can produce quite a lot of these I believe around uh, one per week um, per worm um, if the conditions are good in the bin, if there's good food, good airflow. Um, and so this is the finished uh, vermicompost. And so I'm just going to dig down through here and see if I can find... So this one, this is another worm cocoon. And you can see it is different colored. It is not bright yellow like the other one. This one is kind of orange, and that means it's older. Um, the older the, that the worm cocoons are, uh, they change colors. Eventually, it'll be a dark brown, almost a blackish color, and that's right before the worms hatch. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this bin that's ready and harvest it through the trommel. Um, and the trommel is basically a uh, device that has a one eighth inch screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed all the material into the front of it. And the material is going to uh, spin. It's powered by a three fourths horsepower motor. And uh, the worm castings are going to fall through the one eighth, one eighth inch screen. And then all the bulk material that is left over like the woody material and the worms are going to fall out the end in a tray. 
Uh, so we will go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to feed it in here, and if you if you look down underneath, you will see the worm castings kind of falling like rain underneath uh, if you get a, a view like right down low. fit through the 1 8 inch screen. The cocoons also fall through here too. Uh, so then they can hatch and then there's uh, more worms in, in each worm bin. So this is the finished worm castings, also called vermicompost. And as you can see, it is, there is no worms in it, there's no bulk material, it's just the worm castings. And so this is what I give to my plants, um, and it does some amazing things for the plants. And one of the reasons that it's so beneficial is there, it's actually a living uh, little ecosystem inside of here with all sorts of beneficial bacteria and fungi, everything that you can't really see except for underneath a microscope. And it's actually called the soil food web, if you want to look it up. Um, and so this is, this is the finished stuff right here. This is, some, some people call it black gold, uh, and it, it takes around 30 to 45 days to produce this. So it's, it, there's quite a bit of time involved.